Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I hope everyone is doing well. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I package my sticker orders. Recently, I started up a sticker sheet shop and I'm just going to show you guys how I send out my orders in the mail. So first off, I use these pink envelopes that I got from Amazon and I'm also showing you guys the stickers. I, I put them in a really large textbook so that way it's able to flatten out after I have removed them from my Cricut machine. So that is where I store them and that's why you see me taking them out of this giant textbook right now. But these are the sticker sheets. Um, these ones specifically are the BTS Silhouette sticker sheets. I also have other ones on my shop. As you can see, I have that other one. So this is me just spreading them out for you guys. I have three orders to package today and so it's a total of four sticker sheets because I had one customer order two sticker sheets. So I also use this pink cardstock. It is in different shades of pink. There's like this baby pink and then there's another pink and then I think there's white as well. So for these orders, I'm going to be using the pink cardstock, the light pink one. I also like to mix up different shades as well, so I'll pull out different colors of pink when I'm doing orders. The sheet of cardstock is used as a barrier between the sticker sheet and the envelope, so that way the stickers don't bend while they're traveling from here to the customer. So what I do is I fold my cardstock paper in half and then I use my scissors and I cut it into a heart shape. So I just start by the end and then I round it off and I make sure that it makes a heart shape when I open it. And this is just kind of a cute way for me to personalize the cardstock since I have not been able to get my logos printed on a piece of cardstock right now. I do this instead because I think it adds a cute little flair to the package. So once I have my heart piece cut out, I usually add some bonus stickers in the package and these usually come from sheets that have minor damages such as this one, it has ink blots all over it and sticker sheets that have been cut all the way through when they weren't meant to. So just kind of ones that are slightly damaged but I use the good ones from those sheets. So I select random stickers and I place them all into these tiny Ziploc baggies which I also got from Amazon. They're also at Walmart and Target and basically every craft store as well if you want to get those. It comes with a lot like a hundred for five dollars or something like that. And so I just put two stickers into each little baggie and that's going to go with each order. In my packages, I also like to include little thank you notes to the customers because I think their business is really important, especially during this time where small businesses really need to be supported because that is kind of all we have right now. So I just like to thank my customers for supporting my shop and for purchasing from my shop and just to show them that I'm grateful for their service. So here's me writing out three little thank you notes on a piece of pink paper. When I'm packaging my stickers, I have a certain order that I like to go with. First, I lay down the sticker sheets right in the center of the heart, then I add the two little cute bonus stickers. And then on top of that, I add two business cards. Right now, I haven't updated my logos on these, but usually I add two, one for the customer and one for a friend. And then I add my thank you note right on top, so that's the first thing they see when they open up the heart card. And then I just make sure that's really tightly secured and I shove it into the pink little envelope. Super cute and it fits very nicely. And after all the envelopes are packaged and sealed, I do the final step of writing the addresses of each customer onto the envelope.
Once all the addresses are written on the envelopes, the final step is to add stamps onto each of them. So you can purchase stamps by purchasing a sheet of them or a book of them from your post office or you can go to your post office each time and buy a stamp like that. But I prefer purchasing them beforehand so I can walk to my post office and just slip them in the box in front of the post office. And the final step is to mail them off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!